So first off, uh, this is your own responsibility in terms of uh, moving system files and that sort of thing. So uh, do your own research and make sure you know what you're doing uh, with this sort of thing. And I don't take any responsibility if something goes wrong. And these are just the steps that I've taken with my system. So um, I'm not going to bother showing the hardware, hardware details of installing it because I feel like that's documented elsewhere plenty. And so why am I putting everything but boot? Uh, everything on boot is on going to be on the NVMe. And then the boot drive will be on the EMMC. And I'm not going to mess around with flashing uh, flashing anything where I can boot, put boot itself on the NVMe. Uh, so this is my solution, what I figured I'd go for. And I'll show you, well, this is what I have installed is the 510 kernel Armbian Focal, which is the Ubuntu stable or Ubuntu LTS. And so... What did I do? I formatted my NVMe drive using Gparted. And uh, well, what I did first, I did an, I did an MS-DOS partition layout. And then I selected a ext4 file system. And I gave it a label as well, which will come into play in a little bit. Um, and And this is what I, I did. I, uh, I formatted that and then I p installed it and I booted my EMMC on my Pinebook Pro to make sure it detects it. And the 510 kernel, as I expected, it detects the, the uh, NVMe drive. This is the one that I bought or that was bought for me. It's gone down in price even since it was bought very recently. And then, so I uh, bought this adapter, EMMC, not EMMC, NVMe to USB adapter. Kind of a little bit expensive, but it's been fine. I've already used it. It worked. And then a while back, I bought this EMMC to USB adapter. I just like the option of being able to pull my storage out of any computer and be able to connect it up uh, via USB in case something comes up. So I like to have that option. And so I have those. And so I took my uh, EMMC out of my Pinebook Pro and I have it connected. I'm on my, my desktop computer right now. And then I have the NVMe connected. All right. And then in this terminal right here, I have this option, EXT glob enabled, which allows you to exclude a directory. So uh, I'm going to move that up and then run this. So what I'm going to do is so this one I'll show you. You see everything as I just showed up above here, everything is on one uh, partition on the EMMC. That's how Armbian does it. Other distros, distros might do that differently. And so all of my directories are right here. And so what I'll do is I'll move everything in the EMMC directory, except for boot, onto the NVMe. So, of course, I've got sudo. Pre, it's prefix with sudo. But for this to work, you got to set this option here on sh, uh, shopt. All right, here we go. And then I'll come back after this is done. All right, so I've got all of my files on the NVMe. Took a bit to copy, not terribly long. Uh, but the one thing my copy did not get was this. I had to copy this over. So that command that I showed, I didn't do. Well, yeah, that command didn't didn't include the hidden file, the this one hidden file. And um, so here. This is the EMMC, and I put the boot directory 
you know, I went in the boot into the boot directory, c- CD boot, and then I moved everything, and I did sh opt. I did that, and I just moved mv. I moved everything up, you know, directory. So after enabling dot glob, and so that moved the. I think there are some hidden files. Uh, there's one hidden file. So everything's now in the main main. This is the. You know, there's no subfolder here for the boot. The this is the boot. So I've got a 115 gigabyte boot partition. So room for plenty of kernels. All right. So here I have got, I am in, if you look up here, uh, right there, I am in Etsy FS tab. Okay. Make sure you don't accidentally put a forward slash ahead of that because that'll edit the computer you're on if you have it mounted via USB like me. So, um, and I did block ID to, uh, you might need on Debian. I'm pretty sure you have to do sudo before that. And, uh, so this is the entry for my boot directory. This is the UUID for my EMMC. Okay. And that is going to mount to boot in the root file system. And the uh, file system check, it'll be second in order. That's not supposed to be one. That This one's supposed to be one here. So that'll be second. And then I just kept the, the FS tab options that were here before. So we'll see how that goes. And this is root. This is the NVMe drive. This is the U, UUID of the NVMe. And so here on, and so that's my uh, FS tab, which of course is on my NVMe in the Etsy directory. And this, uh, I am in the mount EMMC, uh, you know, where it's my boot partition, basically, my boot drive. And I've edited this file, rmbn emv.txt. And these are... These are some thing, a couple things that I changed. Like I turned on ver- verbosity and I turned off the boot logo, logo. But that's not relevant here. Uh, what's relevant is I updated this, this right here, this UUID. The root device is of this UUID, which is the NVMe UUID. And it left the rest of that the same. And now I'm gonna put it in my Pinebook Pro and and give it a go. Hopefully I didn't miss a detail that I didn't know about, but we'll give it a try. So everything worked out perfectly. I booted the Pinebook Pro and everything uh, is just fine. So there's the NVMe drive right there. I'm using 101 gigs of the 500 gigs. See where it's mounted right there, root. And then the EMMC is right there, mounted at boot. So I'm very happy about this.